I saw the craziest thing, probably the craziest thing I've seen online. So, you got some dirty ass, ig ignorant ass idiot whose uh, little penis got exposed by way of himself. If that is his penis, might be his boyfriend's, but for the sake of argument, we'll say it's his uh, little shit, right? Then you got this other nigga that's itching and screaming to get attention from people. <sighs> Couldn't believe what I saw. This dude goes on Instagram where he shows people this dirty nigga's daughter, this dirty nigga's daughter Instagram page. And when you go there, you click on the video, you see the young lady's Instagram page, and then you see somebody sent her a message. Lo and behold, what is that message? It's a screenshot of her father's little dick. My goodness. And some like nonsense. That has to be one of the craziest things. And the reason I'm doing this video will all culminate in a few seconds. I mean, that's just like, that's deplorable. I don't care if this man killed your best friend. Like no one's even gonna think of a retaliation of that caliber that's just so twisted like what is wrong with y'all people that's that internet shit and i'm gonna get to that in a second right i mean what's next you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna send the video to uh to the girls two little uh second cousin sisters or something you are bugging that shit is crazy we talking revenge porn extreme. I don't even know if they, I don't even know if the laws are even ready for some shit of that caliber. That is so twisted and so disgusting. Fuck that nigga in particular, but come on, B. And y'all call, it, niggas is actually calling themselves men. They actually wake up and pull out something and take a piss. Like, I think you need, some of y'all niggas got vaginas between your legs or something. Well, I know that nigga don't got kids though. Imagine a nigga that got kids doing some shit like that. Anyway, the culmination of what I'm getting at, right? That's that internet shit I'm talking about. Because there's no way that anyone's going to do that to somebody's, to somebody and their daughter and then look them out of the eye face to face. That's why I'm in the cut. That's why I'm chilling. That's why I'm not responding. Because I'm too big for that. I can't see my big grown ass on my computer. Yada, 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 da, 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 da. No. When, 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 when the beef is cooking to, to such a level, we need some type of out of eye physical contact, right? Now, niggas don't want to fight, I understand all that, yada, 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 whatever, whatever. So, I'm going to emphasize this again. We have a face-to-face -face battle, because this other nigga, you know, he looks up to me lyrically and all that shit, and, you know, he's got a, he's got a, and it's to scratch as far as uh, some musical shit or whatever, right? We have a face-to-face -face battle. Each of us raise, I don't know, $2,000. I raise $2,000, I'll do it. We travel somewhere. We're allowed to bring... Two dudes of ours and one female. Somebody recorded. You could have one of your people recorded. I have one of my people recorded. And then the sector. Everyone will see an actual live battle. You know what I'm saying? Take place face to face. This individual who likes to talk about niggas that have no swag, as he calls it. Well, first off, I don't even subscribe to that term. Ever since I found out it stands for secretly we are. You can figure out what the G stands for. So I don't even mess with that. I'm, I'm, I'm way too polished for some little, little kitchen, some little kid term swag. But if you want to see who has more panache or swagger and everything, all will be shown. All will be shown. You know what I mean? You'll get to, get to see this individual that I'm talking about looking like the straight bozo he is. A couple times that he's been on video, he looked like nothing but a bozo. He looked like a jerk. You know what I'm saying? Like a humble, like little weirdo. Like a, you know, like one of the people that's just like... I don't know, socially awkward. Mm, doing this to his mouth so his like raggedy teeth don't get shown. Hand in the pocket, looking all insecure and shit. So let's do something real. You agree to do that. You could do it in two months or whatever. We get $2,000. And then after the $2,000 um, fee, just for the performance to perform, then we could raise money for a pool. So whoever wins the battle will get that, get that money. But then that could get complicated because then you got to be like, well, what qualifies a winner or whatever, whatever. So maybe not. Maybe we'll just do it like a regular battle where, you know, the winner is up to the interpretation of, you know, the consumer. Either way, I'm only going to address a nigga unless somebody does something real. And the only reason I'm coming out and poking my head from the bushes in this little thing right here is because I've seen the most bizarre, weirdest thing. 
that I've probably ever seen online. And it brings home that point that I'm making. Niggas could be tough. Niggas could be strange behind a computer screen. What they willing to do face to face. Let's set it up.